In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to export your Bitmoji classrooms in a couple of ways so that you can place it into your Schoology course. So once you have your Bitmoji created, your Bitmoji classroom created, you will be going up to File, and then you're going to find Export To. So under Export To, there are a few different options. The first one that I'm going to go through is going to be images. So let's say I only had one image that I wanted to share and I did not have clickable links or anything like that that my students would interact with. It's just going to be the welcome in my Schoology page. I would click on images and since my document has more than one slide, I do want to select the slide that I would like to share and that's just going to be slide one. So I'm going to change it from all to slide one to one. And then I'm gonna leave this as JPEG high quality and I'm just going to click on next. It's going to ask you where you would like to save it. And so I'm just going to leave it as practice classroom for now. And I did already create a folder in my documents called Bitmoji Uploads so I know where I'm going to send it. Otherwise you can click on the drop down here and then you can direct it where you would like your file to go. So I'm in documents and under my Bitmoji Uploads folder. So I'll just click on export. Once it exports it'll be available for me to upload into my Schoology. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Schoology and I'm going to make a page where I'm going to place this document. So I'm going to go into Add Materials, Add a Page, and this could be my welcome page. So I'm going to go ahead and make that my welcome. And to add images up here on the toolbar, you will go to Insert Content, Image and Media, and then you will attach it from your computer. So you're going to click on Attach File and you are going to go ahead and direct your uh, finder to where you saved your document. So again, mine was under Documents, Bitmoji Uploads. It does save that item into its own folder, so you will have to open that folder, click on your image, and then press Open. And once that loads up, you'll see a preview here. And then I do want to make sure it's visible as soon as a student goes to my page. So I'm going to click on display on new page and then create. So there is my welcome image for my Bitmoji classroom. Remember, this is a plain image. I don't have any clickable links. So if that's what you want to have displayed, you would export to images. Now what we're going to do is we are going to export to PDF. I have added this fourth slide and I have three different items here that are clickable links. And so I want to export to PDF so that my students can click and still access those items. So I'm going to go ahead and again go up to my file, export to and this time I'm going to choose PDF. You're going to notice it does not ask which slide I want to include. It's going to automatically include all four, but then I will show you how to delete them before you get ready to upload your document. So you're going to click on next. It's going to ask you where you want it to go. So this is going to be my uh, practice classroom PDF. So I'm just going to add PDF to the end. That's something you don't have to do for your document, but I'm just going to go ahead and add it to identify it. It's going into my folder and click on export. Once it saves, you want to open up your finder and then go ahead and open up that document. And again, like I mentioned, you're going to see that it does save every single one of the slides, but I only want slide four. So what I can do is I can go ahead and select by clicking and then press delete delete, delete, and I'm only left with slide four. And you'll see that when I hover over each of these icons, it's going to link out to where I would like it to go. And so now we're going to go ahead and open it up in Schoology. So I'm going to close that document, go back over to my Schoology. We're going to go to add materials, 
add file, click on file one more time, and then we're going to attach that PDF so that it shows up on the Schoology page. So here's my document. I'm going to select it, press open. And once it finishes uploading, I will click on the add button. It says it's complete. And once it adds to my Schoology page, I can click on it or my students can click on it. And if they're on a computer, it's going to display in the previewer within Schoology. If they're on an iPad, they may have to go down here to the bottom and click to open the PDF. So it may not show in this view, but there should be a link down at the bottom to view it. So from here, they can click and go out to the reading of Zombies Don't Eat Veggies on Storyline Online. They can go to complete a math activity on Flipgrid, or they can watch a video on the life cycle of a butterfly from YouTube. So all of those would be accessible from the links that you created in Keynote and then saving it out to a PDF. The last option is going to be just a little bit more, uh, not complicated, but more um, specific for the type of document you want to share. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this fourth slide because I don't want, I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But pretend that I would like to have a view and make this kind of like a website embedded into Schoology. So students will not see multiple slides. They will just see those clickable links and um, it will automatically change for them on their screen when they click through some of those items. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to download this set of slides as an HTML file. So again, going up to file, going to uh, export to, and one of your options here is HTML. So when you click on HTML, all you have to do is click on next. It's going to tell you it'll open up in a browser, but we're going to embed it into Schoology. So I'm going to click on next. This is going to save as Practice Classroom and it's going to make, again, its own folder. I'm going to change it to just say Practice Classroom 1 just in case. And there's going to be two items in that folder when we open it. So I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to minimize it. And I'm going to open up my Finder and go back into my documents and go into that folder. So now you're going to see I have a folder called Practice Classroom 1. This is going to be the folder that it automatically created that has two items that I need in order to load it into my Schoology. So I'm going to select both of those items. I'm going to secondary click and I'm going to choose this option that says compress two items. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a zip file. So you'll see this created the file and it's automatically going to give it the word archive. So we want to go ahead and secondary click and we're going to do rename. So I'm going to again name this practice classroom. And so now this is ready to load into my Schoology course. So I'm going to go back over to Schoology back into my practice folder and we're going into add materials one last time but this time we're going down to where it says add package when we click on add package it's going to give us two options we're doing web content and it's going to tell you that you need to enter a zipped file and it tells you the max file size is 10 gigs that's because these HTML documents can be very large depending on the audio visual pieces that you have added to it. So we're going to click on attach file, go back into that practice classroom one, and we are choosing the zip file. Select it, click on open. So depending on how many slides you have, it might take a little while. I only have three, so it's going to go fairly quickly. And once it finishes uploading, then I can click on Submit.
So now that it's in my course, I will click on that link and it's going to display again like it's embedded into Schoology. So it's only going to display my first slide and you don't have to tell students this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. If you hover your mouse across to the side on the left, it is going to display those thumbnails, but we don't want our kids to navigate through it that way. We want them to just use the links that are embedded here. So if I want to go to Monday, it'll display again those links that will take me out to Flipgrid or my read aloud. And if I need to go back to the main page, I did put a link to my home so it'll take me back and I can go to Tuesday. So it's just a matter of directing the students out. Let me refresh it real quick. Directing the students um, out to this link and showing them how to navigate around the space. So an idea for this could be maybe an interactive syllabus or um, some other link set up for the week so that your students will go to each of the days and find out what they're doing for that day and have those items linked just like I have for Monday. So those are going to be the main ways that you can export out a document from Keynote in order to put it into your virtual classroom space.